Good morning, good morning, Keisha Johnson here. Welcome to Waking Early for His Glory. You can find me here every Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are catching the replay, please type in hashtag replay so I'll know that you are watching. And if you are tuning in for the very first time, please type a number one in the comments so I will know that you are watching. And good morning, good morning, Joan. Good morning to those of you that are tuning in live. Good morning to Mary. Good morning. Hi, Erica. It is so good to see you all. I missed you all over the weekend. Good morning, Linda. Hi, Daphne. As you all are jumping on, please go ahead and begin to um, share the broadcast and I will log on and do the same as well. Good morning, Cheryl. It is so good to see you all. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hi, Barita. I love starting my Mondays like this. Um, if you are in the We Write the Word group, if you would not mind um, going ahead and um, sharing that in the We Write the Word group for me, because for some reason, Facebook does not let me pull that up and share in there. So um, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Ronnie. Good to see you. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hi, Kim Brewster McSwain. It is so good to see y'all. And after you um, share it, go ahead and type in um, share it so I'll know that you shared. And let me go ahead and um, get this pulled up here. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Karen Lewis. Good to see you. Hi, Paula. Hey, Ricky. Yes, y'all go ahead and type in God. I appreciate you. And you all know what to do as you all are um, tuning on. Please go ahead and share what time did you go to bed last night? What time did you wake up this morning? Um, I went to bed somewhere in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, and I woke up. Uh, I think I hit the snooze button one time this morning. So <laughs> that was good. Good morning, good morning. All right, let me go ahead and get this pulled out while you all are jumping on and you all can get this shared as well. Here we go. All right, I think we are good. Uh -oh. I'm dropping all my stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff over here. Good morning, Marion. Good morning. Hey, Meredith. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Dorothy Powers. Good to see you. All right. So you all know what to do. Go ahead and type in the comments. What time did you go to bed last night? What time did you wake up this morning? And also go ahead and um, share where you are tuning in from. If you can type that in the comments for me and let me know where you're tuning in from. All right. Here we are. I think we are good. I think we are good. All right. Um, make sure you share it in the We Write the Word group. And I put this in the Walking for His Glory group. So I think we're good. Good morning, Crystal. So if you are on this broadcast live or if you're catching the replay, that means that you were on the wake up list and that's not a small thing. So let's just take a moment and begin to thank the Father and go ahead and type in the comments and share what it is that you are thankful for this morning. And go ahead and share, um, type in the comments, God, I appreciate you. And just let him know that we appreciate him on this morning. So, Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we love you. We thank you for being such an amazing father. And we acknowledge you as father on this morning. We thank you for being our provider. We thank you for being our protector. Good morning, everyone. Yes, y'all go ahead and type that in. Thank you, God, for everything. Let's just, you know, because there's so much to be there's so much to be thankful for. You know, we would be here. Oh, you love my tea. Favor magnet. I am a favor magnet. Thank you, Verita. <laughs> yes, we got up. And so there's just so much to be thankful for. We would be here all day if we um, tried to take the time to thank him for, for everything. So we thank you, Father, for protecting us through the night from things that we have no idea that he is protecting us from, right? Amen. We thank you, Father, for a sound mind. We thank you for waking us up in our right mind on this morning. And y'all, and that is enough in itself to be thankful for that we are uh, we are in our right minds on this morning so father we thank you for that we thank you for waking us up with a mind to want to spend time with you we thank you for waking us up with a mind to want to spend time in your word because listen y'all hi jennifer jones i didn't always want to wake up and spend time with the lord so i thank him for a mind and a heart to want to spend time with him and listen that's nobody but god because listen if it, we if we had our own way and you know we would be in the bed sleeping right now so we thank you father and you all continue to type in the comments yes thankful for freedom in him amen debbie good to see you debbie hartwig 
thank you for new mercies on today. Grace, mercy, and protection in a sound mind. Yes, so much to be thankful for. And what I have found that no matter what is going on in our lives, no matter what's going on around us, there's always something to be thankful for. And it's always good to just stay in a constant state of thankfulness and just be aware of all that God is doing. Not that what we not what we feel that he has not done for us, but all that he has already done. Because listen, he woke us up this morning, right? So if he doesn't do anything else for us today, that's enough to be thankful for. We are here. We are alive. We are breathing. We are well. Okay. So as you all are continue to type, continuing to type in the comments what you're thankful for, I'm going to go ahead and read our opening verse for today. And if you have not already, if you are jumping on, make sure that you have grabbed your anointing oil. And I've already anointed my oily hands. And go ahead and type in the comments. My hands are blessed. Amen. Everything that we touch is blessed. Everything that we touch prospers. Everything that we touch multiplies. Amen. These blessed hands will lay hands on the sick. They will be healed and they will recover. Yes, Farida, I'm a favor magnet. You know, I, I thought about that the other day as I was reading my favorite declarations. And I was like, you know what? I'm a favor magnet. Let me get a shirt to remind me. <laughs> So I just did me a shirt to remind me that I am a favor magnet. Everywhere I go, I attract favor. Amen. We, everywhere we go, we attract favor. All right. So our opening verse for today is Exodus 33, 14. If someone can type that in the comments for me, Exodus 33, 14. And it reads, and he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. What a beautiful promise. Exodus 33 14 if someone can type that in the comments good morning Flora Canty good morning yes yes Teresa your hands are blessed our hands are blessed Exodus 33 14 and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest do y'all see it's almost a, a two weeks later and my voice <coughs> still dealing with this summer cold <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read our prophetic word for today, and it's coming from the Father's Heart Ministry. Let me just stop a minute. I see so many more of you jumped on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go ahead and share in the comments what it is that you are thankful for before you jump in, and then um, please go ahead and share the broadcast. Come back and type and share it after you've shared it. The Father says today, the thing you are facing right now is not about being tempted or tested. The thing that you are facing right now is not about being tempted or tested. Yes, Gloria, you are. You are a favor magnet. Yes, you are. I need to get like four more of these made so I can just wear one every day just to remind myself. Everywhere I go, I attract favor, right? With favor magnets. <laughs> uh, okay. The thing you are facing right now is not about you being tempted or tested, says the Father. It is about my faithfulness. I'm here. Talk to me. I am here, says the Father. Talk to me. I am here, says the Father. Talk to me. Your present distress doesn't take my take me by surprise. I didn't bring this on you. I am the giver and not the taker. I am the provider and not the thief. We all know who the thief is, right? The word says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the thief is Satan himself, the enemy himself. God says this morning, I am the provider. I am not the thief. I am not the orchestrator of the pressures of life, for I place no premium upon your suffering or your pain. No matter how much the enemy tries to get us to believe that God takes delight in our pain, he takes no delight in our pain. He takes no delight in our suffering. Focus on my faithfulness, says the Father. Don't look at the turbulence around you as though it would swallow you up. Keep your gaze fixed upon me and me alone. Somebody go ahead and type in the comments for me. Eyes up. Eyes up. Yes, Regina, you are a favor magnet. Eyes up. Eyes up. Everywhere we go, we attract favor. Amen. Everywhere. We are favor magnets. We are favor magnets. Keep your gaze fixed upon me and me alone. You feel like you are the only one and that you are all alone. And listen, you all, I just need to kind of pause whenever I'm reading this because that is a trick of the enemy. You know, for many, many years, the enemy 
fed me that same lie and I believed it, that I was all alone, that I was in it by myself and nobody understood what I was going through. Nobody understood my pain and nobody understood my struggles. That is a lie from the pit of hell that the enemy feeds us. And listen, we have a choice whether we're going to believe that or not, because the word already tells us that that I am with you, I will never leave you or forsake you. So what does that tell us? We are not alone, that God is always with us. He says in his word that he will never leave us, he will never forsake us, and the enemy will lie. The enemy is a liar, okay? Him and his whole family, he is a liar, and he has fed me that lie, and I believed that lie for so many years, that I was all alone, that I was by myself, nobody cared, nobody would understand. It's a lie. And the father saying today, keep your gaze fixed upon me and me alone. You feel like you are the only one and that you are all alone. Remember, I am touched with the feelings of your infirmities. In the history of mankind, there has never been one event, one moment, one situation that the cross didn't provide for and make a way of escape from. Escape to my presence this day, says the father. Escape to my presence this day, says the Father. A lot of times when we are going through hard times, we escape, but we escape and we run to alcohol, we escape and we run to drugs, we escape and we run to 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 to, to different kinds of media, we escape and run to shopping, we escape and run to all of these different things. But the Father is saying today, escape. <laughs> Escape to my presence this day. Everything that we need can be found in the presence of God, not in alcohol, not in drugs, not in spending, not in sex, not, not, in, not in anything else. He says, escape to my presence. Escape to my presence. Escape to my presence. Everything that we need can be found in his presence. So escape to my presence. This day, says the Father, don't worry about what you are going to do. The answer is simple. Somebody type in hashtag simple. Listen, that's a mouthful right there. The answer is simple. You are going to be an imitator of me. You are going to do what I would do if I was in your circumstance, if I was facing your circumstance. So the question is this morning, somebody type in hashtag WWJD. What would Jesus do? WWJD. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? He says, you are going to do what I would do if I was fake facing your circumstance. And how do we know? <clears throat> because we are disciples, right? We are followers of Jesus Christ. And what does that mean? We follow him through the gospels. So we know what Jesus would do if he was in this circumstance. We know what Jesus would do if we were in this situation. And if we don't know, we go to the word, right? We go to the word. Always bear in mind that I am in you and we are facing the day together. What a great reminder. I am in you, says the Father, and we are facing the day together. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not in this alone. I am bunkered inside of you and you are bunkered inside of me and we are going to get through this together. Somebody type in hashtag together because there's somebody on this broadcast right now that woke up this morning just feeling so discouraged, so alone, believe in the lie of the enemy that you are alone, nobody is with you, nobody cares and nobody understands but I am here to remind you today of what the Father is saying. I am with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He is on the inside of you. You are not alone. You are not alone. We are going to get through this together and look back in laughter at the adventure and blessings that unfolded just when you thought all was lost. Just when you thought all was lost. Not when all was lost, just when you thought that all was lost. And I can even say that about my own life where I can sit back now and just laugh and laugh and be like, I can't believe I believe that lie. I can't believe <laughs> that I thought I wasn't going to make it through. God is faithful. God is faithful. And he is with you. He was with you. And I just need to remind you all today that everything you need can be found in the presence of God. That's right. Hashtag simple. The answer is so simple. The answer is so simple. And what is the answer? Get into the presence of God. Get into his presence. Open up his word and spend time with you. Spend time with him. Everything that you need. Yes. Don't eat at the enemy's table. Amen. 
And I had to learn that, you know, again, our thoughts are so powerful and it's so important for us to pay attention to what it is that we are thinking about. Because I used to spend a lot of time um, sitting and engaging in conversation with with the enemy. And what do I mean by that? By constantly meditating on his lies and not realizing that just because a thought was in my mind didn't mean that I needed to think on it. If the thought that we're thinking does not align with the word of God, guess what? We have a choice to think a new thought. We have a choice to think a new thought. And um, when we are sitting and thinking on anything other than what the word of God says, we are engaging in conversation with the enemy. So I need you all to say this morning, no more engaging in conversation with the enemy. No more. No more. No more. That's the same thing that happened to Eve. The mistake that she made in the garden was even engaging in conversation with the enemy. There's nothing good comes out of engaging in conversation with the enemy. Nothing good comes out of that. How do we know? We see what happened with Eve. <laughs> we see what happened with her in the garden, right? Engaging in a conversation. Did God say? And she's, you know, no, I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm not talking to you right now, you know? All right, so um, I want to read our opening verse again today, Exodus thirty three fourteen, and it says, He's, and he said, my presence will go with you. I will give you rest. My presence will go with you. I will give you rest. So let's talk about that today. I have some notes here. Um, not a whole lot. I don't have a whole lot. Um, but I have some things that um, I'm supposed to share today. And so I wrote the secret and the password to getting into God's presence is through thanksgiving. The secret and the password. <laughs> you want to know the secret? You want to know the password to getting into God's presence? Look, shh, it's a secret. <laughs> The secret password, okay, to getting in to the, y'all lean in and listen. The secret password to getting into the presence of God is Thanksgiving. All right. I'm giving y'all the secret this morning. Somebody type in hashtag Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And I want to read Psalm 100 verse 4. And I love this in the message translation. I found this in the message translation about a month ago. Um, so Psalm 104 in the message translation says, enter with the password. And I'm going to go ahead and add the secret password. I'm just adding secret. All right. The enter with the secret password. Thank you. Somebody type in thank you. Now Psalm um Psalm 100 verse 4. Sorry, it's not Psalm 104. It's Psalm 100 verse 4. I should have said that differently. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter with the password. Thank you. Somebody type in hashtag thank you. Make yourselves at home talking praise. Thank him. Worship him. All right, that's Psalm 100 verse 4. And it says, enter with the password. Thank you. That's the password. Thank you. That is the password. Thank you. Two simple words. It's so simple. Thank you. Make yourselves at home talking praise. Thank him. Worship him. Talking praise. Talking praise. Talking praise. Talking praise. That is how we enter into the presence of God by talking praise. Good morning, Annie. Talking praise. Can y'all type in the comments this morning? God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Yes, type in thank you. God, we thank you. There is so much to be thankful for. There is so much to be thankful for. All right. And um, so I want to give a couple of reasons why thanking God gives us access to his presence. So thankfulness and thanking him gives us access. That is the secret password thankfulness and thanking him that gives us access to his presence all right so number one make sure you have your journals and a pen make sure you have your journals and a pen that way you can write down these scripture references okay so the first scripture reference was exodus thirty three fourteen. the second was psalm 100 verse 4 all right so why thanking god gives us access into his presence number one god's presence is holy god's yes we thank you yes we thank you we thank you, God. We thank you. God's presence is holy. And I wrote, we must come to him with reverence and a holy fear. And the scripture reference for that. Sorry, well, excuse me. I'm drinking some hot lemon water. In. Because this cold is still. 
still lingering. Um, number two, his presence gives us joy. His presence gives us joy. There is joy that can be found in the presence of God. His presence gives us joy. And I wrote, he doesn't need our thanks. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need our thanks. We are designed to thank him. It's not that he needs it. We're designed to thank him. All right. And a scripture reference for that is Psalm 1611. And I want you all to go back and read these verses. Okay. Psalm 1611. His presence gives us joy. And God is awesome. God is amazing. He is who he is. He doesn't need our thanks. He doesn't need it. We are created to thank him. It is what we were created to do. It is what we were designed to do. Number three, faith pleases God. So worshiping him in faith pleases him. Worshiping him in faith pleases him. And a scripture reference for that is Hebrews 11.6. Hebrews 11, 6. So thank you all for um, typing any scripture references um, in the comments for me. Number four, this is a big one because listen, I tell you this all the time. Worship is warfare. Worship saved my life. And when I say that, I mean that worship saved my life. Worship saved my life. Worship kept me from going crazy. Worship kept me from losing my mind. I will never forget those days where I was in that church, in the front, at the altar, just worshiping God like crazy with everything in me. And and, and people would look at me like I'm crazy, like it don't take all that. I'm like, for me, it does. Look, I'm trying to live. I'm not, I'm trying to live. I'm trying to live. I was literally dancing those chains off of me, dancing those crazy thoughts out of my mind. Worship is warfare. Yes, Meredith, worship is warfare. It is a weapon. 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 All right, so worship is warfare. The enemy hates praise. The enemy hates praise. So as I was worshiping and I was praising, what did that do? That caused the enemy to flee. That causes the enemy to flee. When we begin opening up our mouths and we begin worshiping God, it causes the enemy to flee, take off running. All right. It causes him to flee, to take off running. He won't hang around. He won't hang around. <laughs> he won't hang around. All right. He will flee. A scripture reference for that is James 4, 7. James 4, 7. Yes, but recent. Yes, but recent. Stop it. I don't know. What do you mean, Nikki? Number five, praise is like a present to God. It's like a present. Praise is like a present to God, a gift to God. All right. And just like we don't go, I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you do, but just, you know, we shouldn't go and visit people without a gift. Anytime we go and we visit people, we go bearing gifts, right? So praise is the same thing. Praise is like a present to God. Just like we don't go visit anyone without a gift, we don't go to into his presence without a gift. Our praise is our gift to God. It is us showing up in his presence to meet with him with a gift and just like we don't go anywhere else you know visiting anyone to go to anyone's home without bearing gifts it's the same thing when it comes to him our praise is we're showing up bearing gifts you know our praise is a present to God our praise is a present to God we don't go without the gift and what is the gift God I thank you God I thank you praise is like a present to God all right and so I want to ask you a question, you know, every now and then um, I like to leave you all with a, a question to reflect on. So my question today, not just for you, but for all of us is because we are meeting with the king. Amen. Amen. And we need to go bearing gifts and our praise and our thankfulness is our gift to God. Praise is our gift to God. Praise is our present to him. We should never go into his present without bearing gifts. And our praise and our thanking him is our gift to him. It gives us access. It gives us access. Or some would say it's the secret sauce. It's the password. It's the, it's the secret password. Thank you. So simple. All right. So the question for us today um, to think on is how often do you thank God instead of asking him for something? 
how often do you thank God instead of asking him for something? Just like our children. I get so annoyed. I used to, they, they don't do it as much anymore, but I used to have to tell them, why are you always coming to me asking for something? Say thank you, you know? And, and it's the same with our father. Like, how often do you go to him just to say thank you and not ask him for anything? And not asking for anything. That's why we do that every morning on Waking Early First Glory. Go ahead and begin to type in the comments what it is that you're thankful for. We're not asking you for anything. We're not asking him for anything. We're just saying thank you. You know, we're filling the comments with our presence to him. As we are coming on here, waking early for his glory, entering into his presence, we are, you know, showing up bearing gifts. So when I ask you all to type in the comments, type in what you're thankful for. It's not just asking you to type in what you're thankful for just to give you something to do it's giving us access it's inviting him in it's saying god we thank you we're showing up each morning bearing gifts you know we're showing up bearing gifts all right yes um so what else do i have here <clears throat> okay how my um how can we show thanksgiving to god i wrote down a couple of ways that we can show thanksgiving to god yes thank you jesus for everything that's right for everything. All right. So one of the best ways that we can show Thanksgiving to God is always to, re to always remember him, you know, to always remember him, just remember him. Like, you know, there's just so much to be thankful for. Like we can see God in everything, you know, we can see God in everything. So if we have a made up mind that, you know, we're going to just be aware of his presence and just see him in everything, that is a great way to show him thankfulness. You know, that's a great way to show him thankfulness, to always remember him. Um, another way that we can show thanksgiving to God is to recognize his hand in our lives. Again, that goes back to being aware, just being aware and seeing his hand in every area of our lives. You know, thank God for Anthony, her day. Always remember God. Yes, always remember God in everything. The second way that we can show thanks for, um, thanksgiving to God is to recognize his hand in our lives. The third is we can keep a gratitude journal, and that's something that I started doing. Um, so if you don't have your Waking Early for His Glory journal, oh, I have a bunch of them that I'm sending off today. Go ahead and get one because I use that to... Um, write down my when I'm journaling through the scripture references that I give you all and I also use it as my gratitude journal and I sit and take time and just write out to God what it is that I'm thankful for um, and another way that we can show thanksgiving to God and this probably could have been the first one is to obey his commandments and I don't even need to go into that because that's just so simple obey his commandments so if you haven't started keeping a gratitude journal I would encourage you to start it um, and maybe you can start your day with writing down five things that you are grateful for, five things in your gratitude journal. Um, and then you'll notice that thing will turn into five things, you know, 10 things, 15 things, and then you got pages full of things um, that you're thankful for. So start keeping a gratitude journal. Um, okay, if you, um, I'm, it's going to be hard for me to go back through the comments. If you want a journal, you'll have to message me. I think that's the easiest way. Can you message me? Um, if you want one, I have a few left and then I have some more coming because as quickly as I got them, <laughs> y'all bought them up. So thank y'all so much. All right. So I want to, to end with reading something. I want to read, um, y'all type in first Chronicles 16, first Chronicles. Look, is this blessing y'all? Is this helping y'all? Is this helping y'all? If y'all don't take anything else away, just remember and meditate on Psalms. 100 verse 4 the secret password to entering into his presence is thank you and um, let's just make have a made up mind that we will no longer go before our god we will no longer go before our king without a present we will no longer go before him without bearing gifts so what does that mean we will no longer go into his presence just god i need this god i need that God, I need you to do this. God, will you do it for me? We're going to stop and we're going to pause and we're going to go in saying thank you. Even if thank you, even if that's all you say is thank you. Not thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you that I'm in my right mind. Thank you for this car. Thank you for my cup. Thank you for the lights. Thank you that I have a roof over my head. Whatever it is, even if you just to stop and say thank you, just stop and say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. So let's read um, First Chronicles 16 verses 1 and I'm going to read it all the way to 36. All right. 
So y'all bear with me. And listen, this is not easy um, reading this out loud, but I'm going to um, read all 36 verses because the Lord told me to. God said so, so I'm going to read all 36 verses. So yes, First Chronicles 16, um, verses 1 through 36. <clears throat> all right. And I'm like, okay, God, let me, hold on. All right. They brought the ark of God. <clears throat> And set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And they presented burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before God. After David had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, a cake of raisins to each Israelite man and woman. He appointed some of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord to make petition to give thanks and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, Zechariah second, then Jael, then all the other names. And listen, y'all, I will butcher these names, so I'm gonna have to skip over the names, all right? Then all the other people that were there. They were to play the lyre, the lyres, the harp, and Asaph was to sound the cymbals. And Hananiah and Jael, I'm messing these names up, the priests were to blow the trumpets regularly before the Lord of the covenant of God. All right. That day, David first committed to Asaph and his associates the psalm of thanks to the Lord. And this right here is where it just began to bless me, starting from verse 7 to 36. And this is David's psalm of thanks. Y'all type in David's psalm of thanks. That day, David first committed to Asaph and his associates this psalm of thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always seek his face always remember the wonders he has done his miracles and the judgments he pronounced remember one way to show thankfulness to god is to remember him and to remember all of the wonders that he has done O descendants of israel his servant O sons of jacob his chosen ones he is the lord our god his judgments are in all the earth he remembers his covenant forever the word he commanded for a thousand generations the covenant he made with abraham Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you, I will give you the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. Inherit. When they were but a few in number, few indeed, and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. He allowed no man to oppress them. Y'all go ahead and type in, God, I thank you. He allowed no man to oppress them. For their sake, he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare the glory among the nations, his marvelous deed among all peoples. For great is the Lord, for the most worthy of praise. Y'all type in, great is the Lord. He is the most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Y'all type in, but the Lord, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory do his name. Ascribe to the Lord the glory do his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice that the earth be glad. Let them say among the nation, the Lord reigns. Y'all go ahead and type in the comments, the Lord reigns. <laughs> the Lord reigns. Let the sea resound in all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then the trees of the forest will sing. They will sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out, save us, O God, our Savior. Savior, gather us and deliver us from the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name, that we may glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord. Now go ahead and type in the comments, praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Let everybody this morning say, Amen, and praise the Lord. Somebody type in the comments for me, Amen, and praise the Lord. 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 Amen. Amen. Amen, 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 and praise the Lord. Whew. Amen, and praise the Lord. The Lord reigns. Amen. Praise be to the Lord. All right. You can't read that and not get excited. I found, I, I had to lower my voice. I, I felt myself getting real loud and like, the whole house is sleeping and now that I'm not reading it's quiet again <laughs> you can't read that and not get excited yes praise be to the Lord praise be to the Lord all right so I want to read some declarations from the word that's how I'm going to close out today I want to read some, a few declarations from the word and then we're done all right I give thanks to the Lord for he is good his loving kindness is everlasting I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, I will tell of all his wonderful deeds. Thank you, God, for you are Lord, and you are the great God, the King above all gods. And those were three declarations from the word, and I want to read them again, and then I'll leave you with the scripture references. So grab your pen. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his love and kindness is everlasting. And we're going to meditate on these today. All right, so make sure you write them out. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all his wonderful deeds. Thank you, God, for you are Lord, and you are the great God, the King above all gods. And the three scripture references are Psalm 106.1, Psalm 91.1, and Psalm 95 verses 2 through 3. Again, Psalm 106.1, Psalm 91.1, and Psalm 95, 2 through 3. All right? And so I need you all today. Our declaration is, I decree and declare that I will stay in a constant state of thankfulness. If someone can type this in, hashtag waking early for his glory. I decree and declare that I will stay in a constant state of thankfulness. Hashtag waking early for his glory. I decree and declare that I will stay in a constant state of thankfulness. Hashtag waking early for his glory. There is always something <clears throat> to be thankful for. And I thank you, God, that my voice held up this morning. And let me just get a sip of... Uh, I'm not going to grumble and complain. I thank you, God, that my voice held up this one. And so, Father, we love you. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. And what do we say every day? Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this holy word that leads us. We thank you for this word that guides us. And we thank you, Father, for this word that protects us. And Father, we thank you that according to Job 22 and 28, it says that we shall decree a thing, we shall declare a thing, and it shall be established. So Father, we thank you that as we have declared this word this morning, that as we have declared your word, that it is being established in our lives. And we are saying today that we decree and do we declare, declare that we will stay in a constant state of thankfulness. And we thank you, Father, that as we are declaring that, that it is so in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. I pray that this has blessed you all. So remember the secret password is thank you. And when we go into his presence, we will pause and we will stop and we will say thank you. We will not go in grumbling. We will not go in complaining. We will not go in asking God for everything that it is that we need. He knows all. He knows what we need. We will go in saying thank you all right so you all know what to do hashtag i will read my bible and for those of you that may be tuning in for the first time we are also reading through the one year bible together um and you can find the one year bible um on amazon.com um i will have to put the picture in the comments because my my bible is in the back 
um, and the, the today's reading is also in the captions of this video. All right, and I think it's time for me to stop talking now. <laughs> so I love you all. Have a great day. I pray that I said something <coughs> to bless you all. And I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? All right. Amen. I love y'all. Bye-bye.